Um, it's it's pretty pretty imbalanced. Uh, I would have to say. Um, I mean, he, he, once he goes into destroyer form, it's the exact opposite. You can't even hit him anymore. But I, I don't know. It's just pretty pretty imbalanced. Uh, now the meat wagon pressure is being applied. Um, really, it's 66 food sweet, 53 food Creo. Um, this is probably where it looks worse for Creo. Uh, the A bomb, A bomb wagon destroyer. I think it's such a good counter uh, because it, I mean, even if you do go bears, you know, you got the destroyers there. And then the wagon really takes care of the dryad, so. But man, I have to say that hawk absolutely destroys those meat wagons. Just brutally, brutally crushes it. Uh, lures are down now for, uh, Creo. Um, definitely not looking very good for him at this point. But you know, using that hawk, hawk really kept the minute. Uh, because you can't coil your wagons, and he just sets that. sets that up. Does like 100 damage hit. Well, maybe not quite hundred, but you know, pretty close. It's a lot of damage either way, and only at two armor with heavy armor it takes a lot. So now, still the deep three food. Now sixty eight food sweet. Uh, Sweet's expansion is has been up for a little while, and I just been pumping units now, and not looking too great for Creo. Uh, I think he'll remake his lures here pretty soon, but I'm not positive. I think he just got his gold mine up. Yeah. Anyway, so he's in, in, invisibility of the panda. So that other wheat wagons. Oh, gosh. This is hard, guys. Sorry for this yawning. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just late. I don't know. So, so look. Good positioning on the panda. Sends it to the back. Uses uses the breath of fire. He's going to take out the meat wagons. That's what you exactly what you got to do. It's such good migrants. It's good timing. He, he has an involved on the panda. He goes off. It's going to allow him to kill basically all the meat wagons. And then have a much more fair fight of eight bombs versus dryads. I mean, you see, Breath the Fire does so little to, to a bombs that it just doesn't even seem like it's an effective counter. Um, when the panda goes down here, yep, to a coil, it does. Level 6, Death Knight. Uh, however, the Beastmaster uh, is now rapidly approaching level 6. Another uh, a bomb goes down. Um, he, he foods out 45 Creo, 34 Sweet. Uh, the dryads now starting to, to prevail a little bit more. Um, <laughs> However, with no lures to remake any dryads, uh, Creator's gonna find himself in a little bit of a tough spot. Um, yeah. Although he does have enough wood to last him well into the game. Uh, well, probably the rest of the game. Whereas, Sweet does not. So the last A bomb falls, and all of a sudden on top is Creo, even though he had some severely less food. Um, and now I believe he loses his hero here. Um, yeah, even though he has less food and no heroes, he manages to prevail. And, um, pretty lucky Lich here, I'd have to say. Uh, it, I, I think actually, Im oh yeah, I think, well, I'll, I'll let you watch, it's pretty interesting what happens. It, it kills that Dryad, breaks away. Uh, now the Dryad poison combined with the focus fire from the Quill Beast, that is getting the HP pretty far down. Um, now it's on to 16, Dryad's chasing, Dryad's chasing, down to 7. Uh, Dryad's chasing, Dryad's chasing. Down to 13, he hires here at the tavern. Down to 2, 2 HP, and then a fadeaway 9 HP shot. So, way to go, Dryad. You won the game. There goes the Lich, um, which is definitely a big, pretty, pretty big turning point. Um, however, Kreo is still kind of in the hole here with no way to produce units um, and no real wisps to produce buildings. So, he's making some wisps, gonna try and get some lures up and counter. Uh, whereas, I, I really think that Sweet still, I see, I just find it hard to believe that Sweet manages to lose this. I, I, really, that level 3 Hawk, look at that, look how fast that statue goes down. Oh my, oh my god. So, so brutal. It's just so brutal. He revives the Lich from the tavern. Um, he has a ghoul, but he'll use it for his Lich because he realizes, hey, that Hawk will definitely kill it in a few shots. And rightly so. So at this point now he's going to go in here and try and uh, push him a little bit more. Um, a one hit dryad heals it up a little bit, but still pretty tough to deal with. That hawk is so good, like, oh, it's so good. But Death and Decay is now being used on the Tree of Eternity and a well. However, the Lich, I think, will die if I do. Yep, he dies at the last second, right before Quill can go off, I think. Maybe a Deagle, I'm not exactly positive. 
Um, but now he has he has he's the advantage because he's allowed him to kill his lich a couple of times um, to, to get his lures uh, beginning to come back up as well, get both heroes out, and really a complete change of events, even with no lures and heroes. Well, I mean heroes that he revived, I guess. For um, for Krios to so definitely pull that one together, um, and now he's going to ex attack the expansion. One one great uh, thing that gives you a lot of versatility with the Beastmaster is the Hawk is only 50 mana. I know it used to be 35, and, and I mean, and like Cool Beast used to have a better cooldown, and like it just he's been nerfed so much. But only 50 mana for that kind of a weapon is uh, pretty pretty good, pretty darn good. It, it can uh, see invisible units, has a magic attack. It does you know what 50 damage average magic. So that's that's really good. Like, here we go. It's a uh, five armor, you know, six fifty HP on average, like what fifty two point five, you know, damage. Like that's that's pretty that's pretty good. Uh, and invisibility, <laughs> like like it wasn't enough, you know, without the invisibility. Anyway, so um, now it's kind of winding down a little bit. The expansion down for sweet, and once the undead has no gold, and the elf does, it really is. It really is a little bit too hard for the undead to keep together um, in any situation, much less at the level of these two players. Um, so now that his lords are up, he is pumping out. He is pumping out dryads, and so he's you know basically making one last desperate attempt here at a push. Uh, let's see being revived. It's you know four fifths of the way done. Twenty six food Creo to thirty food Sweet. However, he does not have a. Uh, does not have an expansion, so really, it's not good positioning. And as well, uh, look at the hero level: seven Beastmaster, what five Panda? Where's Panda? There it is. You know, five Panda, almost six, and um, level six Lich, I believe. Yeah, level six. So I mean, overall, just strong game, well played from both players. And we're going in here to our final battle. Um, Hawk is being used. Uh, to kill off that that pesky wool, but again, the lich uses it for mana. Uh, once you get once you get level three, uh, dark ritual, it really is basically free mana on like a ghoul. Like you can get a lot out of that. I mean, it was half health, but I already gave him like a hundred mana or something like that. This is pretty good. And now twenty nine food sweet, thirty two creo, but again, he's getting gold, so he's gonna have to make one last push here, try and stop the expansion. Uh, he's in. He's in for a little bit of trouble because of the dryad support in combination with well, how well his buildings are placed so that his dryads can attack, but but yet, but yet are protected by the buildings. So it's pretty good. Um, he's going to use the pandas. Moves there. I mean, I guess did some damage, but I don't know. Focusing down now. He's using quell to save what he has. He's probably able to smell here. Yep, smell the players, I believe. Yep, there you go. And try to focus down. Uh, they are definitely good for the fire as uh, one of the apes goes down, the other one is coiled, they are both nearly dead. And Hawk is now something again. Now, now the dryads excuse me, now the dryads just have to focus on the destroyers, which is, you know, pretty pretty easy to do, and the destroyers are gonna go down. And with no A bombs left now, uh, it's not gonna be not gonna be any chance to I'm not really positive why he didn't coil it. He had the mana at the time before the wisp spell, but he decided not to coil that A bomb. Uh, I think maybe this point I just realized that it wasn't really going to matter. Um, not quite positive. Yeah. So now he's focusing down the panda. Uh, the panda has info. Um, and now he's going to go after the death knight a little bit. Uh, it's basically over this point now. Um, the last destroyer goes down. And I think we're going to go after the, de the panda. I think he might get it. Oh no, staff. He, yeah, he staffs it. And then I think the death knight dies, actually. I think it's quite possible. Takes a hit from the Tree of Ages. Um, Panda heals up. Um, yep. Heals up. And now he uses the Panda's final. And maybe, maybe he surrounds the Lich here and just calls out GG. I think that would be it. Yeah. That's sounding right. Lich is dead. GG. And that's game. So, yeah, it was a pretty pretty pro game. Um, definitely good count definitely good countering by Sweet, but... In the end, the, the the heroes, the heroes, and that hawk just saved Creo so much. Um, it was a pretty good game. So I'm glad I could bring you this out to you guys. It was a lot of fun. I haven't done it in a little while. Um, 
hopefully this all came out alright, and this will be audio you'll hear soon. So I'll talk to you guys later. It's been a lot of fun, and peace.